Okay, uh, good, good morning uh, to all of you um, and uh, a very, very warm welcome to this, uh, the launch of uh, the Northwest Business Leadership Team Science, uh, Technology and Innovation Report. Uh, thanks for making the time to, uh, to, come, uh, to come along. Um, I want to say a particular thanks uh, to uh, the Minister for Universities and Science, David Willits, um, for uh, having uh, popped in. We knew you were in the area, but it wasn't quite sure whether you're going to be able to pop in, but we are delighted that you've been able to do that um, to show your support um, for the great work we do in the Northwest um, in, uh, in science and innovation. Um, and of course, that's what this session is all about, the launch of our science and innovation report and making sure that we position much better um, some of the great strengths, some of the great things we do here in the Northwest, and obviously doing all of that with a view to creating um, better ecosystems around some of the great innovation we do, and ultimately making the Northwest a better place for business to invest in those areas, and ultimately that, of course, meaning that we create more growth and wealth creation here in the Northwest. But I think before we go into some of the speeches that were planned, we're going to go uh, into uh, in just a quick welcome and a few thoughts um, from our minister. So I just hand over to you, David. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, Jürgen, and, and thank you for your flexibility and tolerance in allowing me to crash your party. Uh, it's very good. I'm, I'm here in Manchester today with the Chancellor. Uh, we've just been at the topping out ceremony for the uh, Graphene Institute in, uh, uh, in Manchester University. And indeed, we're here uh, because uh, we're also going to be announcing very soon uh, extra investment in this excellent museum. Uh, but as the, by a very happy coincidence, I discovered that uh, this report was being launched here today. Thank you so much for letting me very briefly join you and to say uh, how much I welcome this analysis. Uh, and it absolutely is the right approach to the Northwest to set out the Northwest's distinctive strengths in science and technology and also to be quite tough-minded about not throwing everything in, but being very rigorous and selective. And Nancy was pointing this out to me, and she's absolutely right. The way that you focused on these four particular areas of advanced materials, energy research, cancer research, and health innovation, and high-performance computing. And uh, given that there are so many AstraZeneca people here, I hope you won't mind my mentioning Andrew Whitty. But uh, in his, Andrew Whitty of GSK produced a very useful report for us which said that what we needed to do was identify the distinctive strengths of our uh, regional and city clusters. And that's what, exactly what this report does. And I would just like to end by assuring you that we absolutely do understand the quality of the science and technology that you have here. And if you look at the decisions that we have been taking week after week, I absolutely try to ensure that the science budget is fairly allocated. The Chancellor is committed to that. Uh, we've had the decision to back the ESOF festival here in 2016, which we will be providing financial support towards. Uh, I was up here last month at Jodrell Bank announcing a major investment in the Square Kilometre Array, uh, around £100 million with the aim that this, one of the world's big global scientific projects of the next 50 years, we want to see it run out of Manchester and Jodrell Bank. And with that, putting that money down as a down payment, I can tell you from the conversations I had that afternoon at the board meeting at Jodrell Bank, the other countries see that with that down payment, we had made a very clear indication that we were serious. And if this is the centre for the analysis of the very large data flows from the Square Kilometre Array, it'll drive and promote our investment in high performance computing. Uh, today we've been seeing how the investment in graphene is going, and of course in the life sciences I think there's excellent work being done by the Alderley Park Task Force, and we will work with you to try to ensure under the new ownership at Alderley Park it has a successful future as a centre of expertise and research in the life sciences. So. And these type of reports really do help us concentrate our minds and the research councils and the TSB 
and uh, other agencies in understanding what you've got here. So thank you so much for letting me briefly join you, but I very much welcome this report and look forward to studying it properly. Thank you very much indeed.